Hey guys, what's going on? It is Ahackman2 here with another MX Simulator video. Today I'm going to be going over my 2017 setup, uh, including Supercross and Motocross. Um, so my it, it includes my stability and my suspension. Uh, the stability is the same for both. I've been running this stability for quite a long time. Um, my suspension is almost the exact same suspension that I ran that I showed in a video a um, couple years back when I did a setup video. Um, I don't know if I made any minor changes to it or not, but uh, in motocross it wasn't really working out for me at, at first, so I actually changed to a setup that Kevin Frazak has sent to me. So that was my, that's what I ran for the rest of the motocross season. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys both. So we're starting off with the supercross setup, and this is uh, what I ran for uh, on the 250 and the 450 with just minor gearing changes. So uh, here's my advanced stability first of all. Um, it is the same for every single bike I ride now. I will probably never tweak this ever again. Um, so yeah, you can go ahead and take a screenshot, pause the video, whatever you want to do there. I'm not going to read it all off. And then I've got my uh, suspension and gearing. And then this is pretty much the same as in was in that video that I did the Heckman 2 setup from like 2016, early 2016. Um, so. Once again, you can pause the video if you'd like. So uh, here, let's uh, hop over to the motocross. All right, so for the motocross, obviously, stability is the same. And my suspension is a little bit different. So go ahead and pause it. Again, this is what I got from Kevin Frazaka. Thank you, Kevin, for uh, hooking me up with this setup. And this is what helped me to, to improve as the season went on until the end of it when it kind of fell apart when I stopped caring as much. Um, but yeah, go ahead and use the setup, these setups if you'd like. Um, the one that I'm showing you now is a little bit stiffer, um, handles a little bit better and rough, which is why I used it for the motocross, opposed to my other one. Um, so feel free to use either one and experiment with it. And just uh, if you do use it and enjoy it, please leave a like and comment down below. I love reading comments. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you guys in the next video.